Hello and welcome to or welcome back to Cognitive Connection Dressage. All right, so today I'm going out to the barn. It is also a rainy day because it's Michigan in October. I am riding slash working with West Fleur Riker. I will vlog what I can. My phone is not being cooperative in the realm of like staying alive and like filming content. So we're gonna see what she can do today, but I have faith in her. All right, I will catch you when I'm at the barn and we are getting our first horse. Hello, I'm at the barn. So I'm out to get Fleur first. I'm gonna do Fleur Quest. Riker. Again, I don't own any of these horses. I'm riding them right now for my trainer because they just need extra work, but I don't own or lease any of the horses in these videos. I have found a little lady wearing her pink blankie. Alright, Mrs. Mare was very good. She is tired and sweaty and I am tired and sweaty. So yeah, it felt super good. We were able to get some nice um, canter work at the end going left, I think. Um, the last canter we did was super good and I really liked it. And we were already both feeling tired and on that note I was like, yes, and good. Um, but we did our usual routine of like the 20-ish minutes of walk warm up of and like lateral work stuff like that which she really enjoys and really kind of gets her moving freely through her shoulders as opposed to kind of like sticking her head out good report to your mama now time for quest bye missus bye missus mare bye missus mare all right horse number two quest my boots i'm cleaning them tonight but it's so rainy lately that i clean them and then it's, i do this the next day so really what needs to happen is I need to stop wearing them into fields. But then I walk from the barn to the indoor. So like it happens anyway. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I have no care for my boots. I'm a monster. I'm a menace. He's gross. He's so icky. He's so icky. He's so icky sicky. Pony number two is very nervous. I wanted to talk briefly about this bit we're using on him. The Barris rubber ported D-ring snaffle. Um, and he's been going super well in it. He has some sensitivity in his mouth and doesn't prefers this over metal bits. And in addition to that, he's going in the rope halter as well to help clarify cues and bend. And Quest is standing on a Murdoch Method medium density balance pad and starting to relax a little bit into the arena. Big 
smoking marijuana. Keep it hotter than a sun. Smoking till the sun up. They asked me if I had bands. I said, bring your funds up. They tested me to a challenge. And they didn't show up. Didn't show up. I'm knocking at your door. Right. Taking meds till I pass it on the floor. Right. If I need to step up, I say good night. Written on the ground and chalk. All that off white. Put you right up on a shirt. I'll be damned if I never put in work. You a broke guy, bitch. Your pockets hurt. And I carry a newsie. Hello. I just wanted to come in here and talk about that ride a little bit and just talk about the, like, specifically, I put in the moments of him, like, misbehaving because I really wanted to, um, I want to show the process of starting young horses and that young horses is not always necessarily the most, um, beautiful thing. However, it is as it is our responsibility as handlers, as the one with prefrontal cortexes, to ask the horse, "How can I help you? How can I help you understand this?" And it's not a ride it out because it's cool. It's a ride it out. I made a mistake, or we're rushing this too fast. And how can I help you understand this better? So um, you'll tell. Like obviously, there was no positive punishment used. I wasn't like beating him, hitting him, doing anything. I was just sitting quiet, waiting for him to stop, and then zooming with the re the behavior I was asking for, um, or successive approximationing it, um, that's definitely not a verb, but I'll use it as one, and breaking down, like, okay, if you don't want to trot forward, can we walk forward? Or if you don't want to trot on a circle, can we walk on a circle? And slowly breaking it down into smaller, smaller, more digestible pieces. Okay, quest review. He did super good. He had some really, really good moments, and when they're this young and this green, sometimes good moments are all you can really ask for like I'm, I don't want a good ride I want a good moment in a, in a okay ride <laughs> um but he had some super good moments there he was really um he at one point in like the trot he was really good and that's kind of new to him still um but we also had some baby moments in the trot but that's okay that's to be expected but he did super good today so I'm a very I'm a very proud uncle <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> all right we're doing it we're getting horse number three. I'm cold, a little bit hungry, a little bit tired. All of the good things to set you up for a phenomenal ride. <laughs> Riker is a super good boy. He's super fun to ride. Um, has a super good brain on his shoulders. Knows how to do the things. Um, so he's, he's a super fun ride. I saved him for last because I thought it would give me the courage to carry on. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna be ready to ride. In three, two, one, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, we're walking over to the arena and he's totally tacked up, how crazy. We're doing it. Um, it's gonna, just gonna be a, we're just gonna do a short little little ride, probably like 30 minutes or so, nothing too crazy. It's late, mostly. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, he's gonna stand on some surefoot pads, we'll do the girth, everything like that, and then we'll get started. Give me a bag, steady type of cash on my bro in that same shit No, I don't fuck with no lame bitch Can't even fuck on the same shit I heard your shit in this swag That shit is so sad, put in work at that basement I told you double that payment No boy, I'm not one you can play with I grew up in Brooklyn, left right, I keep looking If the ops come, then we get to Alright, I again have to arena okay. All to myself, look my no hands So, he was super good We're still kind of getting to know each other a little bit um, but he was super good. He put in some super, super good trot work, which is what we're mainly focusing on. Nice hair, dude. I'm using you as a flashlight through the darkness. Sometimes there are raccoons here and I'm scared of them. All right, welcome to the outro of this video. So, um, uh, thank you for watching. Still don't know what this video is called or when it's going up, but it will be up at some point. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things. And you can follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. It is at Cognitive Connection Dressage as well. Um, I post a little bit more frequently on there and I have like a little bit more of like discourse running there it's also if you ever want to reach out to me just do that through in instagram dms there all right that is all i've got for you today so i will catch you in the next one bye guys